Okay, so here we have the game mid again. Uh, it's a blue one. And this is actually a version with a special firmware that allows you to, uh, it supports an MSD, what is it, a micro SD card, but it allows you to transfer uh, the software that's in the main memory to the SD card. So that's actually quite a uh, novelty, which makes it a whole lot better to use actually, because the internal memory is, uh, is eight megabytes, eight gigabytes, and you can actually use more of it. This is actually the French version of it, the Technizer 807D. Uh, it, it comes out on the market in uh, various brands, and uh, I totally love the cobalt blue edition, and uh, I think it really looks very sexy. Uh, yeah, so let's uh, have it boot up and uh, show you uh, what. Uh, what is possible with this new firmware and I believe this new firmware is also coming out for the uh, other um, systems that you know the same system the game mid and uh, oh, it asks me to connect to my charger because uh, the battery is getting low 40% remaining but as you can see if I've, I've installed a whole plethora of games I've installed FIFA 14, Sonic 4, Episode 2, Epic Citadel, Dead Trigger, Afterburner, uh, Riptide GP2, Asphalt 8, Crazy Kart Racing, Real Racing 3, Grand Theft Auto 10 year anniversary edition and Shadow Gun and Rip, Riptide GP so there's a whole uh, a uh, bunch of games on there and I'll show you if I go to settings and to apps that the inter uh, internal storage uh, most of it is used but uh, not entirely oh my god this really looks horrible doesn't it this is just <laughs> this is just a video that's not not even worth watching I guess uh, oh, well, let's see. Uh, so, uh, a lot of that stuff is on the SD card. So, uh, basically, uh, yeah, it, it's, uh, it gives you more memory. It gives you a whole a shitload of more memory. So, uh, yeah. And now, a small preview of the video to come. Okay, filming the Argos Gamepad 2. Uh, I've already unboxed it, but uh, I'm just going to open up the box and show you what's inside. But let's go over the specs first. 8 gigabytes of internal memory, quad-core CPU, 7-inch IPS panel, game mapping tool, Wi-Fi, an Android 4.2 Jelly Bean. And it comes with two games. It comes with uh, Modern Combat 4 Zero Hour and Asphalt Airborne by Gameloft. So it comes with two games. Here's some, some legal information. Uh, here's some other legal information. Uh, and here's the, the specs. Uh, so the screen resolution is 1280 by 800. The uh, core Quad-core ARM Cortex-A9 is running at 1.6 GHz and the graphics is, uh, GPU, that's a Mali 400 MP4. It comes with 2 GB of RAM, which is actually more than most of the, uh, of the uh, other units. They often come with just 1 GB of RAM. Uh, and you can use up to 64 GB of microSD cards. Um, and it comes with a couple of games, and it has the Google Play Store installed, so that's very easy. Um, yeah, let's go open up the package. And uh, sorry if it's if it's like uh, you know very zoomed in, but uh, <laughs> so you have to remove some sort of plastic, and here we have the unit. And it's actually a very nice, smart-looking unit with uh, two analog knobs and a nice thumb pad. That's a, one, a singular piece of plastic. And uh, there's a 
a glass pane or a plastic pane all over. A start button, select button, or select and start button. Stereo speakers. Archos Gamepad 2, it says. On the top, we have uh, micro USB uh, char headphone jacket, I guess. Uh, and HDMI micro, uh, volume rocker microphone, and a power button. Two shoulder buttons, and they're positioned like this. And on the back, we have the Archos gamepad, and we have a micro SD slot over there. Um, yeah, and a rubberized feel, so uh, looks rather nice. Of course, I think I have to charge it, but I can try to press the power button and see if the unit will boot. It does. Not sure how much uh, charge is left in the battery, but uh, it's a very nice uh, display. It's, uh, it has a larger viewing angle than the previous one. Okay. Now, the cool thing about this video is that I am going to compare the original Argos gamepad with the new Argos gamepad and of course the JXD 7300B and the Argos or the, set that the game made. So which of these devices will be best? Four devices will be tested, and uh, yeah, I think I think it's safe to say that it, it's going to be uh, a race between the Arches Gamepad 2 and the Game Mid, uh, which will be the best one.